All right, guys. Good morning. And time for a new adventure. You never know. You never know what's going to happen on any given day. <clears throat> and today is today. And I'm going to try to catch some fish. Uh, caught a few in an unusual location the other day. I may revisit that and see if I can get me a new uh, a new hot spot. Trout has been real hit or miss. I mean, you just I just can't pinpoint them. I just I'm not sure where these trout are. A consistent bite, like I could get sometimes last summer. Or so, uh, and the little redfish that we've been catching seem like they are scattering some. So, let's see if we can get back on the fish. Make a good video. Not that my other videos have been bad, but you know what I'm saying. A good video where I think, man, today was awesome. But today is awesome. Let's just fish. First fish. Feels pretty decent. Nice mangrove, very nice. Very nice. I want y'all to look at the fangs those things have in their mouths. Whew. I'm out of fish, I'm gonna keep some fish. <clears throat> yeah, it feels really fishy here right now. I mean, there's just tons and tons of bait running through here. A lot of bait. This may be a ladyfish or a trout. Oh, guys. Whatever it was, it was heavy. Oh, it's a red Okay. Pretty. Pretty guy. Like my grandmother's minor bird used to say. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Alright, I need a pretty fish. I got a pretty shrimp. Big shrimp. Look at all that bait. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I mean, it's just big schools of bait. Just pouring through here. And a lot of them, one right after the other. There should be fish just everywhere right here. Go again. See what we got. Mangrove. Pretty. I just caught a mangrove snapper that jumped out of the water. I don't know if y'all could see that or not, but that is definitely a first. A mangrove that jumps out of the water. All right, there's something here. A jack. Mr. Jack. I guess I wouldn't be fishing. I didn't catch a jack here lately. It's a requirement that I catch a jack. All right, something little. Got the mangrove. Got the mangrove. So we're going to be eating mangrove snapper for supper. You know what? They're very good. Very good. 
just got to have enough of them to... You just got to have enough of them to make it worth it. Because they don't have a whole lot of meat on them. Those ain't big. I don't know what I got here, but it's interesting. Something interesting. Maybe a drum or... Something like that. Oh no, flounder, good, 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 good. Nice big flounder. Woo, the missus is gonna be happy. She is. Twice. Got him out there, got him in here. It's not a bad one. Not bad at all. Something good now. Oh, guys, dang it. Oh, that's the second fish I've lost. Very disappointing. Okay. Let's get right back out there. We'll put some big shrimp on because I think there's some bigger fish coming through, I guess. After those two, after that flounder. And then that big fish that got off. Feels okay. Maybe a mangrove, maybe. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Good mangrove. All right. It's fat. He'll make a good sandwich. Good, clean, fun. <laughs> You're doing some good, clean, fun. Get out here and fish. There we go. Maybe another one. Uh, this one's too small. But it is another mangrove. Kind of slim. Call him Slim. Bye, Slim. <clears throat> you know, that shrimp, this guy, he wanted to take a tour of my boat. So he just kind of went around everywhere for a while there. And I just followed him. But he took a nice tour of the boat. He's seen everything. But now he's about to see the water. Hopefully he's about to see the inside of a big flounder. All right, y'all will get a kick out of this. Uh, I keep a frozen water bottle or a frozen Coke bottle um, in my freezer so that when I get ready to get shrimp every day, I can put that frozen bottle in my shrimp bucket and it cools the water off when I get my shrimp and it keeps my shrimp alive longer. So it works really good. A lot of people do that. And the other day when I had Philip on the boat with me, I um, dumped all the shrimp out at the end of the day because they were a little bitty. There wasn't any reason to keep them. And the ones I had left. And so anyway, when I dumped them out, I took that bottle that had been sitting in there with the shrimp day after day and frozen over and over again and I set it over here in my cup holder thing and then when we started driving off you know and I don't normally do that that's out of my normal routine and so when I went driving off uh, there was a water bottle sitting there and I said is that your water bottle you know a little bit later and he was like no that's yours and I was like okay and so I picked it up you know we were on our way in and I drank it and you know, I'll get salt and stuff all over my face, you know, while you're out here. This air is salty and the, of course the water's salty and all that. And so I thought, man, I got a lot of salt on my face, man. Cause I could just taste salt. And uh, so anyway, I continued to drink it. I drank the whole bottle. And then uh, I got home and started cleaning up the boat and I'm like, where's my, 
Where's my shrimp bottle? <laughs> well, you know where the shrimp bottle was. <laughs> I drank every bit of that old nasty water and enjoyed it. Thought it was great. I'll do it again if y'all mess with me. But it, <laughs> I couldn't believe I drank all that. I was thinking, God, oh, I hope I don't get sick. Because that's pretty nasty. I guarantee you one thing. From now on, when I uh, set that water aside, I'm going to pay careful attention to where I put it. <laughs> I need to have a foolproof method for separating that thing away from any possible area where I might think that it is water I need to drink. Either that or I need to just use Coke bottles because if it's a Coke bottle, I know it's the bad water. Uh, Y'all don't tell nobody else I did that. Let's just, um, let's just keep that between us, okay? All right, got a little something here. Looks like another mangrove. It is. Uh, kind of, kind of little. It's hard to say. Nah, we'll let him go. Uh, little trout. Okay. I did catch some trout here the other day. Trying to figure out what the deal is over here in this creek. So, that is a good sign. Alright, something else right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another nice flounder. like how this day's turning out guys good one that's a good one. yes sir I like it no trout on the three on the trout today but definitely no keepers. We've all been little like this dude. All right, guys, not a bad day in terms of catching some keeper fish. Uh, not a ton of fish, but some nice ones. So uh, we'll call that a success. And I'm gonna head to the house. Uh, I could fish longer, but it looks like uh, I have some clouds and storms rolling in this afternoon. So thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a good day.